remember when we recorded Armistice Day, we put out an advertisement with it, which uh, had a Bren gun, and the ad went, um, uh, what sort of mindless cretin can dissemble this Bren gun in, within five minutes? Is this you? And this was a, an army ad. So 10 years later, Forgotten Years came in the same spirit of the horror of war, uh, which provoked Armistice Day, but specifically directed towards our diggers, um, which, who, who have been dragged into uh, so many wars overseas. And uh, as we speak, of course, we've been dragged into another conflict, and our boys once again have been dragged off to the Middle East in the same way that our great-grandfathers were dragged off to the Sudan to the Boer War or to the Palestine uh, and North Africa in the First and Second World Wars, and this time once again without consultation. So perhaps a song like Short Memory was, was relevant as well. Forgotten Years follows in the same realm as those two songs, and the film clip was done in a military cemetery in Verdun, which was the site of one of the world's greatest holocaust. I think about 750,000 young men and women died in a single protracted battle which was only terminated by the calling of the armistice on the 11th of the 11th. And the rows of white crosses that you see in the American cemetery in that clip are dated the 5th of November, the 6th of November. In other words, they were dying right up until the, the last bugle was called. And this shameless, horrific loss of life we felt uh, deserved a song like Forgotten Years from a band that, you know, like so many other people, have this you know, fear and uh, horror of, of such a world, such a catastrophe happening again. And uh, I guess there was a personal interest from my own point of view because my grandfather had fought with the Fourth Pioneers in the First World War just up the road at the Somme. And he'd survived to fight once again in the Second World War. And my father had fought in the Second World War. and. Um, my wife's grandfather had is buried at Verdun. So there was a, a personal significance to the song as well. As, as a matter of fact, we didn't actually end up seeing the Australian cemetery there, but for anyone that's traveled through the continent knows that vast areas of each town are devoted to cemeteries of real war. And this is coming back to Australia is one of the great things about this country is never having had enemies uh, marching up the beaches of Bondi. I mean, obviously there were bomb attacks in Darwin and a few mini subs in Sydney Harbour, but we have been spared them. And we have this incredible lifestyle and easygoing environment for it. But once again, you know, Hussein calls, uh, you know, Bush gets on the telephone, and we're back involved again. Fewer the sins of the father.